Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Fallout 4. We need to talk to Dr. Amari because she may know where our son is by going into the mind of Kellogg. We actually have a piece of whatever the fuck we have. I don't even know what it is. Like a piece of his brain? Piece of his ass? Piece of his dick? We have a piece of something. And we are going to go analyze it with Dr. Amari. Who the hell is this guy with his little man bun? Art? You trying to shoot at, buddy? This guy? This little fucker? Wait, Art is shooting a guy named Art? I ain't letting you get me. Wait, wait, what? That is weird. Hold on, let me kill this guy. What the hell? That is weird. They're both named Art. Are they twins? Hold up, let me talk to this fool. Hey there. That thing was wearing my face. That thing was wearing my face. Look, I'm, I'm not that interested in chat. Will you talk to me or are you gonna get the gun, son? Motherfucker! What? That's what you get if you don't talk to me! I was talking to you, bitch! Teabag your face. Come on now. I don't have time to talk to you. I don't have time for your bullshit. Okay, let's go make our way to Dr. Omari. Shouldn't be too far. Oh, boy. You know better than that. Who's in here? What? Are you trying to hide like a little pussy? I got you. Wait till I get in there. Spank that ass. Let's go. What's up, boy? Uh, trying to hide from me in there. What's good in here? Nothing. It's not Jack in here. Ooh, what's this place? See, this is what I love about Fallout. You know, you could just go to these random places. You're trying to do a quest, and you end up finding a place like this, and it doesn't even matter. God, some huge ass bugs. I'd be so scared. Ooh. Off me. And oh my god, are they shooting stuff out of their assholes? That is disgusting. They're like hurling shit at me. Where's the other guy? Ooh. Come on, one hit him. There we go. God, Nick, why are you gonna take cover? They're bugs. Stop being a vagina. Damn, that, that's disgusting. Kendall Hospital. Might as well check it out. Protect yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what they always tell me. Anybody in here? Novice. Even though it's novice, I'm gonna make my little hey. bitch boy do it for me. Hey. Unlock that unlock terminal. terminal. And do. Yes, sir. That's what having a slave, <coughs> I mean companion, does for you. Now open that up for me. Bingo. Thank you, sir. I'm listening. Move. See what's goody in here. Open the door. Really? So the door opens, but there's something in the way and I can't get through. What a dick. Okay, guess we're going through. Who's in here? Who's trying to get wrecked? Oh, you trying to get wrecked? Damn. I said surprise, motherfucker. Okay. Okay, you didn't get wrecked. Ooh. You guys like that? That was cool, right? Oh, give me that. Damn it. Inventory stay full. You know what? I'm gonna increase my strength as my perk. I need to carry more stuff. Or wait, I can use the strong back. Where's that at? Strong back. Need what requirements? I need strength six. Okay. Boom. There we go. Oh, I have no more bullets for this gun. Fuck you! Oh, what the? Boom! What you doing in here? Anything good in here? What were you looking at? You were looking at some bullshit, weren't you? Okay. Yeah, we're good. I'm out of here. Okay, we got sidetracked for a little bit, but we're on the right track now. Let's go back to Dr. Amari and see what's up with Kellogg's brain. Oh, look at this guy sitting down. You're dead! Oh! 
What's up? Pussy? You're dead. Yeah, he just sitting down. He didn't know what was coming for him. As soon as he stood up, he was like, that moment when you fuck up. Here we are, good neighbor. Cool. Got a pick pack of that guy, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, Nick, can you get out of my way, please? Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? Hey, shut your mouth, Baldy. We're hiring, but, uh, I don't think you'd measure up. Don't be like that. You just got the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. Let's tell him to back off, or we'll blow his damn head off. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Valentine dislike that. I don't give a fuck what you dislike, Valentine. You could suck my nuts. You're asking his friend here with that extortion crap? The hell are you? Ugh! What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft head cop. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. He said, let me tell you something. Shashank. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Damn, this dude is a savage and he has no nose. You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel this guy. He's a cool character. Of the people, for the people? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, I'm in charge, buddy. You just don't know it yet. Hancock is pretty cool, though. Mayor Hancock? Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about immortality? Well, he's a dumbass because that radiation drug turned him into a ghoul. Junkie, you could have gotten yourself killed. I like to think of death as the ultimate drug trip. When it happens, I'll be too busy enjoying it to have regrets. Now, if you're done laying judgment down on me, is there something else I can do for you? Nah, I'm done with you. Nothing right now. Cool, cool. Okay, let's explore the town a little bit before we talk to Dr. Amari. Man, this dude got it bad. Like, real bad. I'm gonna try to knock his head off. Aw, mm. oh, come on! Fine, I don't know why I like doing that, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> Whoever this Whoever Brotherhood, this of, brotherhood Steel of Steel is, is I'm not buying that. Not buying you come that. in peace, come malarkey. peace, malarkey. Okay. Oh, what's up, girl? Hey. Oh. New face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Let me see. Let me see if you look good from the back. I mean, you're a butterface. Everything look good, butterface. You know what I'm saying? Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? No, I need you to get a new nose. Not right now. Would have bargained you under the table anyway. Okay, I'm out of here. I think everybody's a ghoul, huh? Well, except this guy. Ahem. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Well, I'm part of the Brotherhood of Steel. What you gonna do about it? Old State House. 
No, let's go talk to Dr. Amari. Let's stop pussyfooting. Excuse me. Smell that? That's freedom. Oh, I thought it was a stank asshole. Okay, memory den. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Oh, day, yeah. get it, boy? Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey, Nick, you hit that over there? Was that all you, boy? You get this old blonde poon hound? I see you, Sam. She's downstairs. Okay. Damn, Nick. Your synth dick was all up in that? That's crazy. Oh, look. The fallout image. Oh, Sim. Okay, come on, Nick. We got work to do. You can go back up there and do work on her later. Dr. Amari? Yes? I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Why, yes I do. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Let me see if you're actually doing anything. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive she doing? Look like some voodoo rituals. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. You got to ask? The Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Oh man, I remember going to like one of the loungers in Fallout 3 when you're in the vault to find your dad. That was probably one of the coolest things ever, so I'm ready to do this. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Oh, you take that one? I wanted that one. What if I wanted to sit in this one, Nick? Man, you're a greedy bastard. Brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I expected it to be like if this were actually real. I would expect it to be a bumpy ride into the mind of a killer. Can you hear me? Ah, good. 
The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. This looks like something that would happen if you took too much acid. There. Or you sniffed way this too much cocaine. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Wow. This is like a fucked up ride in Disneyland or something. Mind of a killer ride! Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. That cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. What you reading, girl? Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Hey, shut up, bitch. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. You take this. Oh damn! You're old enough. Hey, little kid got a gun. The family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you will turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio, all useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I, Man, it looked I like this guy shit his I bed promise. way too many times. It's all brown and rusty. We'll let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. This is actually really cool to me. I'm really interested in all this right now. The thing about happiness is, is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Sarah. You'll see. Is this his boot thing right here? here? And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work Suck with a my good deep. outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. 
just me. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. That's what every guy says to get into a girl's pants. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Hey, Let's San Francisco. See. It's gonna be great here. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Hey, shut your crying, little kid. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. This whole sequence right here when we're going through Kellogg's brain is really interesting. Very unique. Having fun. Man. This part though, what am I even walking on? Are these like a bunch of nerves? Or like, you know, brain waves? How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Who you just fucking so with you know, They died like dogs. And you weren't there. To help them. Oh, wow. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. I think they did what I think they did to his family. Where's the memory at? Oh. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? The hell? Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Talking about my family? We seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. They are talking about my family. I'm that family that lives down the creek a ways. Okay, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm into it now. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. 
I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Oh! He said B-47, initiate these nuts! Damn! This dude lives that sav life! I like this guy! Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Why couldn't he have been my Getting companion? Warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. What the hell? Why were they Suspected. both looking at me? I'm a ghost, oh, right? I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. You're still working. That's good. Wait a minute. The logs. This looks the awfully too familiar. We're in one of these. There we are. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Look at this guy, he looks super scared. No, hey, put that gun back. No, maybe I can turn back time, you're not gonna kill my family. Then I gotta kill my wifey. This Stop is the it. One. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no, I've got him. Let the boy go. No. I'm only gonna tell you me. once. Me. Shoot me instead. I'm not giving you Sean. God damn. God damn. No blood either. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Yeah, I see you. You see me? What's up, What's dude? You a handsome motherfucker, aren't you? Finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right. Yo, my son is just chilling. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm pissed off now. They killed my wife, took my son. That dude called me a backup. No backup. I'm a starter. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Hey, my son was black as a baby, but now he's white as a kid. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. 
But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Oh, hold oh. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing this dude looked like he just came from the Matrix. Is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the Look like Morpheus' little time? brother. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. The hell did he pull out that folder from? Just elimination. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only no, mission my son. is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Sean, you're a dumbass. You know damn well he's not taking you back to daddy. No way. Sean! No! Who is this guy? The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Yo, Sean is looking way too happy to be going with this man. He was smiling way too hard to be going with this man. X6 Where are you taking my boy? Ready to relay with Sean. Sean, no! Look at him, he's so happy! What the Bye. fuck? And Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. I'm ready. Wow. That was intense. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Awful. I have this burning feeling inside my skull. It's like it's on fire. That's not surprising. All the synapses in your brain have just been pulled apart, connected to someone else, and then pulled back together. I injected you with a large stim pack while I was pulling you out. That should ease things. Are you... Ready to talk about what happened in there? Let's talk about Kellogg's life. It was pretty interesting. I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? Well, he had an abusive father. He left his mother. Take your time. He had a kid and wife that ended up dying and then he just became you know rogue and started killing people for money i don't know how i feel about him to be honest let's just say i don't know i i'm not sure doctor i don't know if there's any right way to feel either we're getting off track the important thing is that we discovered the institute's greatest secret teleportation the only question is what do we do now virgil that scientist kellogg was supposed to track down Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? 
The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know yeah, you're joking. Yeah, naked is the way doctor, to go. I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. So be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Oh, he's probably getting freaky with that girl he was talking to when we first came in. Alright guys, I'm going to end today's video here. If you guys want to see me do the Glowing Sea quest and find Virgil, please give this video a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>